Steve Guterman, and we're here at the Dulles Expo Center for the Capitol Home Show, and we're going to do our version. We call it Appraisal Road Show. And what we're doing is we're going to take a look at people's uh, belongings that they brought for us to appraise today, and I'm going to deal specifically in four areas, which is antique and estate jewelry, coins, precious metals and gems, and last but not least, timepieces. And people are going to bring that which they found in their in their jewelry boxes, that which they may have inherited. And we'll see what we can do about uh, giving them an idea of what it's worth. How about if we get started? Let's go, Steve. Why don't you go Let's, first? Sounds great. Why don't I start today with, how about money? Everybody seems to like money. We'll start with that. Love talking about money. Yeah, me too. Let's talk about gold coins. Does anyone have gold coins? How about $20 gold piece? We know what the $20 gold piece is? $20 gold piece, which is 20 bucks when it was originally minted, was the original United States one ounce gold piece. So today it'd be worth $1,217. What's your name, sir? Tom Kupiak. Tom, tell us the story of your chair. Well, my uh, aunt owned it for almost 50 or 60 years. She died about a couple years ago. And Tom, I inherited again, again, the, the estate. Uh, the chair from the records I saw, she bought it in 1968, a set of six of them, and it's a 1740, and she bought it from an auction house in uh, New York. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. This was made during Chippendale's life, so it is a very rare chair. Now, we have one more element that we need to really hit a grand slam with value, and that is demand. There have to be people that really want to buy it. The problem that you're going to run into with this chair is that the demand for this type of furniture is way down. So given that, sir, I would say to you this. If you were trying to sell the chairs, you could probably sell them. I'm going to do it on a per chair basis. You could sell them for about $1,500 each. So that would be your wholesale. So your wholesale on the chairs, if I'm doing my math right, is $9,000. Six times 1,500. Mm -hmm. Now we would triple that number if you said to me, okay, I'm just gonna keep it and insure it. I would insure the chairs at about $4,500 a piece. So now we're talking about, so we're getting somewhere around $30,000 is what you would wanna insure them for and guard against fire or theft. So those are your numbers. And I wanna thank you because these are really nice chairs. A round of applause, really nice, Tom. I'm glad you mentioned period pieces. While we're talking about period pieces, let's talk about antique versus estate. And in jewelry, there's a, there is a separation. Do we know what it is? What's the difference between antique versus estate? No idea. Age. Uh, if something is 100 years old, it is an antique. It does not have anything at all to do with value. It is just a measurement of time. 100 years, antique. Anything less, estate piece. Moment of truth, yes, what's I it did. worth? Would you mind? If you were trying to sell this piece, I'm gonna put the piece as a deco piece because this collectors someplace in the neighborhood of um, about 1500 to 2000 if you were trying to insure it, I would insure it for about $5,000. Fantastic piece, thank you very much. What is it worth today? The color happens to be nice, pretty white stone. The clarity is beautiful inside of it. I've already taken a look with a loop, so there's very slight imperfections. And it's certainly nothing visible to the naked eye. If I was doing, if we were trying to insure this, I would insure this piece for about Five to six thousand dollars if you were trying to sell it, I'd figure you're gonna get about half of that. Fantastic piece, thank you very much. I believe this is a Cuisel or a Lotz art glass vase. So if you want to sell it, I think you could get about seven hundred dollars for it if you wanted to sell it, because it's very decorative, it's in really good condition. And if you keep it and you want to insure it, I would insure it at twenty two hundred and fifty dollars. Very nice, thank you for bringing it. If it is 90% silver, when we're talking about coins like the Morgan dollars or like the Peace dollars, and we don't take into consideration numismatic value, we're looking at something that would trade for approximately $18 a piece. Let's talk about this charger. Evelyn, do you wanna come up again? 
Evelyn, you did such a good job last time that we're going to do this again. So, given our three elements, do we have beauty? Yes. Do we have rarity? Yes. Now we ask ourselves, is there a demand for this? And believe it or not, with Japanese and Asian from the 18th century, the demand is pretty good right now. So with this, there would be a demand. So Evelyn, bottom line on your charger, because there is quite a demand for this, if you wanted to sell it, you could sell it for about $1,000. If you're going to keep it and you want to insure it, let's insure it for $2,500. We've talked about, we had a chance to talk about antique and estate jewelry. We've talked about uh, timepieces. We've talked about precious metals. What we haven't talked about are the timepieces. I'm holding here a woman's le uh, Rolex. And it is in fantastic condition. It is actually a model from the 90s, early 90s. It is the two-tone, the 18 karat and stainless. If you are trying to put a uh, an insurance value on it, the insurance value would be approximately $6,000. If you were trying to sell it, you could see approximately $3,100 or $3,200 for it. It's a great piece. Take our numbers. Remember us, Appraisal Roadshow, Steve Guterman. And Todd Peenstra, thank you very much. Thank you.